हाई एवरी वन दिस इज योर होस्ट हितैशी फ्रॉम गाइड आई एस और वेरी वॉर्म वेलकम टू यू ऑल टू दिस ब्यूटिफुल एंड वंडरफुल मॉर्निंग होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट सो माई डियर एस्पिरेंस टूडे वी हैव ब्रॉड फॉर यू अ डायमंड फ्रॉम आर ट्रेजर बॉक्स सम वन हु डजन नीड एनी इंट्रोडक्शन बिकॉज हर ऑर इज इनफ शी हैज एग्जिबिटेड दैट हार्ड वर्क परसिवरेंस कंसिस्टेंसी put in the right direction brings you laurels she is none other than anjali billa so guys with all the love and joy in our hearts let's connect with her so uh, welcome to guide ies it's a immense pleasure to have you here thank you so much for joining with us ma'am thank you thank you so uh, firstly congratulations on your well deserved success thank you so much So before we move further let me give a quick sneak peek in your journey so far shall i yeah sure <laughs> so guys as you know miss pilla has cleared the upsc examination in her very first attempt in 2019 she is a graduate in political science honors from delhi university's ramjas college ma'am i must say that we are proud of our honorable lok sabha speaker om birla sir and it makes us more proud that you being his daughter has proved that there are no shortcuts to success it's always your hard work your efforts your sleepless nights that make you what you are so yeah congratulations ma'am thank you so much such a lovely introduction thank you ma'am so uh, let's begin with the questions yeah sure okay so the first one um, what made you go for bureaucracy and was it your childhood dream I actually reached my time time limit on Instagram. I had put a screen time on Instagram, so I had to ignore okay. it for today. <laughs> yeah, anyways. Okay, so shall I repeat my question? Uh, yeah, I didn't get to hear it. Okay, ma'am. Uh, I said, what made you go for bureaucracy? Was it your childhood dream? No, it wasn't my childhood dream. I think we are too naive to understand anything in childhood. What, uh, what the services demand of you, and uh, what do you actually want to become? Uh, but in my college days, I was very much inclined to, uh, about studying about India, about uh, the issues that India has, and it was my general inclination with which I started the preparation. But over the course of time, I became very much interested in the services because I wanted to be an effective officer. who gets work done really quickly i don't i mean many people ask me that uh, how much of a human service are you going to do but there is a limit to which how much bureaucracy can done can do and i completely understand that limit but uh, the fact that they have all the file work to do and then they uh, there is so much of red tapeism in the bureaucracy so i wanted to be one of the effective uh, officers who are very approachable to the people and who listens to people and gets their work done like quickly like there should be no need of uh, so much of red tapeism and so much of uh, hassle for little things like procuring documents like doing anything office work anything government work thank you ma'am uh, the next one uh, ma'am as ups is not a piece of cake it's quite demanding at times so every aspirant usually goes from difficulties so what were your difficulties that you have come across while preparing I think the first most challenge I faced was misguidance. There is a lot of misinformation, and there's a lot of misguidance. So I joined. Um, I was in my second year when I joined a uh, coaching. Uh, that was a very small coaching. There were only three people, so I thought that maybe I'll get personal attention. So I joined because of that, but it was total scam. They ran away with the money. They didn't teach any anything. So that happened. then third year i thought that okay let me try a big institute because uh, at least there wouldn't be such a thing happening so uh, when i i joined bajiram and ravi but uh, not a good help like it can only help you a little it's just it just guides you so less and they okay i'll say bajiram rant for another day but it didn't help me out so um post that uh, when i graduated from college i decided that i'm not going to ask anyone for help anymore i'm just going to set my own course and i'm going to set my own strategy and i should 
definitely thank my sister for it. She made an impeccable strategy, and I followed it very diligently. So that is one of the major problems that we face. There is so much of misinformation, misguidance with regard to what books you should read, with regard to what you should do, and and it is at every stage. So when pre got done, I was preparing for uh, mains. Everybody. diagrams you would not get through they had like a simple plain cut <laughs> logic that if you don't do this you won't wouldn't get through and very early on in the game i realized that it's not my cake it's not my thing to make diagrams or to make flow charts but uh, so i did not get demotivated by that i said okay they're saying that it's okay but i'll do my way and luckily it worked okay ma'am so basically you have to decide your own course yes absolutely Okay, so the next one. Ah, uh, please share with us your daily schedule, as in how many hours you used to give per day for the preparation. Um, I started in June. I started st June two thousand eighteen. So I told you all these coaching things I did yeah. with college. But then after college, um, in June I started studying for twelve hours a day. and that was whatever the fuck ha whatever the hell happens i am going to do it any which ways so uh, even if i would be down with fever i would still do it even if i would have some family function i didn't attend any family function nothing so for those uh, two years i was completely underground i didn't see my friends i didn't see my family members most of them for the entire two years so you have to stick to your schedule and i was fortunate enough that i didn't have to juggle with too many things i could give all of my time to studying and uh, so my schedule was just i used to get up around 8 o'clock and then i used to sit to study at 9 o'clock and then 9 to uh, evening 8 o'clock i used to study then 8 to 9 was my break time and 9 to 1 uh, o'clock i used to study and then 1:30 i used to sleep it was very very robotic i was very robotic about the schedule yeah. so Uh, that's that. So that actually earned you, yeah, the great success. So the next one, uh, ma'am, as we have to write a balanced answer in UPSC, that is like uh, you have to go for pro-government and you have to object also. So any tips you would like to give our audience that how to balance the answer? I would say that uh, for mains. in order to have a balanced view and in order to have any view so prelims don't ask uh, doesn't ask that you should give your opinions so prelims you can be easy on prelims you uh, i mean you don't have to read too many of opinion uh, opinionated articles and etc but uh, for mains it becomes uh, they ask you your opinions there and uh, so for that you have to rely on newspapers so uh, i like the uh, economic times I like the uh, the Hindu and uh, uh, Indian Express and uh, Business uh, Standard, and so all of these four kinds of. So in my prelims, I didn't read any newspaper. I used to read Vision Monthly, and uh, that was my source for current affairs. Because you can't re retain everything from newspapers. Yeah. But for mains, I started reading to four four newspapers. I used to read, with, but it was such a short time. Uh, two to three months, but if you, that's the one wrong thing that I did, I personally felt like I should have been reading the opinion articles way before, and I should have maybe been maintaining a notebook of it. So I did it when after clearing prelims, but it was still less time. So if you have time in hand, you should always. Uh, I used Evernote, so you can use any application for it if you are uh, comfortable with laptop or a notebook as you please. But have it like GS one two three four. There is a detailed syllabus given. You can pick any topic. There's cyber security, supposedly. So then you can make at least four to five pages of your own notes on cyber security. That whatever question is being asked, you have your matter to produce. Mm -hmm. So uh, in that way, when you read all these newspapers, you get a balanced view. Some people will say pro, some people will say against it, and then you will have your own input to it. something that you will you like to add on so uh when you keep on reading you do get a balanced view because you have to be rational in entire life not just in uh, examination in entire life you have to be rational so you have to listen to both the sides and bureaucracy also you have to listen to both the sides and then come to a strong judgment so similarly you should be open minded don't have ideological biases already there is 
a lot of things that we don't come to know there's a lot mm-hmm. that uh, that happens and that there's a lot of fake news <laughs> so don't just stick to one thing always take both the sides and then uh, conclude it with your own input into it thank you ma'am so uh, next comes the loaded question uh, ma'am can you please share with us your overall strategy for upsc in brief yeah uh, so for prelims i think uh, firstly we should complete the course once i what i did i'll just tell that so i completed yeah. the course in 4 months uh, in the initial 4 months which i thought that this is the course then i read previous years past past years questions and then i tried to reorient my strategy accordingly because um, we feel that uh, okay art and culture have been covered with these these many books but then we come to know no these kind of questions are also being asked so we have to add on to uh, add on more books to it similarly for other uh, subjects also and then you also come to know ki what are your core and what are your strength so then you can for uh, uh, give attention uh, adequately to both of them so for four months i did my first reading then i uh, reoriented my strategy accordingly then before uh, i think prelims was on 2nd june 2019 so before that i had completed five times my course at least and then uh, i used to write a lot of test papers i almost wrote 50 to 100 uh, test papers of different uh, different institutes vision insight on india etc and uh, so uh, then it's not just enough to write test you also have to revise them because uh, otherwise you would not you would keep on repeating the same mistake so um, i did revision of those test booklets three times then uh, and then revision gets on like obviously you try to remember things and so it gets fast also so it's not that big a deal so, uh, third fourth revision uh, happens very quickly then uh, post that uh, that was my strategy for prelims then uh, for mm-hmm. mains i uh, started answer writing i used to write five answers a day initially i did that then i realized that i have a good speed so um, and it's fine so then i used to take uh, test papers every 3 days so uh, because you have to also limit your time to 3 hours so writing 5 hours uh, five questions a day is rather better mujhe laga that i should write a whole paper in it, at least every 3 day so every third day so uh, that i did, did for mains and i maintained notebooks i didn't make any notes for prelims because i usually have a, i'm better at your um, underlining in books as itself in mm-hmm. uh, but for means i did make uh, notes i made gs 1 2 3 4 and essay on evernote and they helped me a lot because when there were exams on in morning you have gs 1 you have to have a mind of history and a geography person then in gs 2 you just after 2 hours you have to give polity exam so you have to reorient your mind all together so you need to brush up so uh, all of those notes helped me a lot i i had important articles written down i had main main lines written down for a gs 2 etc so uh, that, that was my strategy for mains and for interview i created my own question bank of at least 500 questions which can be asked from my dav and um, so yeah that's about it thank you ma'am that's a brilliant answer and i must say that we want a detailed strategy strategy to so we'll be planning another session with you very soon sure so uh, the next one uh, ma'am how you chose your optional anything specific specific you would like to add here i chose my optional as psir because i graduated in the same uh, okay. but uh, there were a lot of people telling me that i should choose uh, sociology because there are claims that it can be completed in 3 months and it's easier it's yeah. static etc and ir is very dynamic but uh, nevertheless because i had interest in political science i thought that i should stick to my subject only so um, i chose political science because of that and i would say Thank that you. if you don't have graduation subject in psir etc there is no need to fear that you shouldn't take it Uh, in fact yeah. uh, graduation only just acquaints you with the subject the majority of the work you have to do it yourself post it shubhranj and ma'am is excellent in psir i did take her coaching uh, but for ir i would say that you need to add 
that's one thing wrong that i did i did i entirely dependent on her for ir also but ir is very dynamic so obviously she can't preempt things and uh, you have to keep on adding so do maintain your own sources for ir you there is there are a lot of sources i wouldn't take so much of your time so uh, that's about it okay ma'am uh, the next one ma'am at times we know that the course is grueling so how did you deal with that what was your continuous uh, support system your motivation i think it was my elder sister definitely hands down to her she stayed with me for the entire preparation time and um, i used to just run to her any time i felt bad so um, she was always there she helped me out with the strategy and everything and she kept motivating me and she was very strict also <laughs> so that helped me to stay in the schedule so if i yeah. i couldn't even think of saying ki i want to meet any friend it was a complete no already so so yeah that actually helped me okay okay ma'am uh, the next one ma'am asked me no prelims is a tricky and tough exam so uh, how to assure your selection in that like uh, how many questions one needs to attempt or in short i should say that how to play safe in it prelims is getting random with every day if i make yeah. a funny story i gave my prelims i came home and i was very curious okay what are how have i done so there was this random coaching institutes answer key which got released in one hour itself so i checked it and i thought i checked it and i was getting poor scores i thought i didn't clear it i was like chalo ab kota chalo <laughs> end of studying <laughs> so it's that random and because of i'm saying this so much of misguidance is there because of that r- random answer key i was so disappointed i went to kota and i was like okay there's no studying i missed i missed 15 days of my crucial time i didn't study only for those 15 days thinking i didn't clear prelims and then yeah. shankar is and insight and vision booklet was released and i thought okay chalo ab ek bar aur check karke dekhte to i was scoring so high then i was like what is all this so this kind of misguidance does happen and you can never be sure of prelims i wasn't sure of prelims <laughs> and uh, but i would say that if you do if you don't know an answer at all do not attempt it and uh, but if you think that you can relate it somehow then you should attempt it i attempted around uh, 80 questions okay. so that was my take there were many tricky questions on science and tech and yeah. uh, somehow um, i would have attempted them but if i would have attempted them i would have done them wrongly <laughs> and because of negative marking i wouldn't have gotten in them so you have to be very cautious that if you are you should okay. be at least fifty percent sure don't attempt it just for the sake of attempting thank you ma'am uh, the next one ask me know that upsc has a very vast syllabus or i should say never ending so especially for the current affairs so how did you manage studying current affairs any tips for prelims i relied heavily on vision is uh, Yeah. those booklets they are available on their website also so they are monthly current affairs booklet and i used to read them like religiously so i was i used to just drink it if you may say <laughs> so uh i did i revised those notebooks because you have to also retain current affairs they every day keep changing you may read newspaper and give your 2 to 3 ta- uh, to 2 3 hours time to it but then how much can you retain at the end of the day that is more important so uh, with these monthly notebooks you, uh, you because you keep rereading the same thing you recall it more so i used to do uh, like every month they used to release the notebook uh, this booklet so i would revise three times the same booklet of that month say february and uh, i would revise the previous one say 2 3 say january and december so i would revise so that i don't forget them as well so you have to keep revising them and uh, i relied on vision is monthly current affairs but again i would say that uh, you should not rely completely you should have one other source as well so maybe insight is also good so i used to do their five every day five questions which they um, mcq which they ask on current affairs yeah. that's also a good way to keep you interested 
it's you can subscribe to their email i think okay ma'am uh the next one uh, ma'am as we know that girls especially uh, they are known either by their father's name or their husband's name but as the time is changing you know they are coming up on the surface with their own identity just like you so it's obviously a proud feeling uh but the question is what you would like to say our female aspirants i would like to say just one thing that uh, do not marry till the time you are not economically independent because otherwise you will keep searching for your own identity and uh, mm -hmm. do not marry if you don't know yourself <laughs> don't rush into things it's okay keep your mind high keep everybody would try to box you into things that this is only how much you can achieve and this is only how much you can yeah. expect from life otherwise uh, because you're a girl you can't do this you can't do that but uh, we should we our mental image about ourselves should be clean be honest with yourself there's so many people who mm -hmm. say so many things about you but if you know you are honest then it it wouldn't back you because at the end of the day you it's you you have to live with so uh, just be honest with yourself and don't you should not box yourself think high sky is the limit for you keep on going and uh, don't rush into things that's a brilliant answer ma'am thank you uh next ma'am our viewers wants to know that if we begin our honest preparation from now onwards so uh, would it be beneficial in clearing upsc 2021 i gave an input <laughs> to be honest <laughs> i always believe that give your 100% i don't even mm -hmm. in rushing into things i took my time i took my good one year i studied diligently for it but 12 hours without any break so obviously you can do it a lot of people do it and uh, they do it all the time so i'm not a good judge of it but if i was in your stage i would take a drop the people who say to me can that give <laughs> give another attempt i say there is yeah. like a whole 2 3 years all together again underground because i am not going to give a half fledged attempt so but it's a vicious circle yeah it's a vicious circle so as you keep on thinking that agar hum ancient pad lete to hamara prelims ho jata to pehle ancient pad ke jao so pehle pura apna course karke jao so that you know ki agar ho gaya to theek hai nahi hua to koi nahi thank you ma'am uh, ma'am can you please share with us your interview experience as in what happens uh, in those four walls um i had uh, miss uh, so jata mehta ma'am spoke and my interview was on 20th march so uh, okay. it was in the second half uh, it's it's for informal only it's not that strict i think everybody has said that it's very strict they're not strict they're sweet people they listen to you they give you time to think and uh, if you if you are polite to them if you don't engage with them in any argument they're not going to grill you uh, unnecessarily and uh, uh, you can always say that you don't know an answer because what happens in interview is in mains also if you don't know an answer you can flip it you can attempt another question and then you can always go back and write it but in interview you just get 5 seconds either you know it or you don't know it and you don't want to say anything very stupid out there so it, it's better to refuse if you don't know about it you don't have to guess you can't say that i think so ma'am aisa hoga you can't say this is a very uh, this makes you this makes the person feel that okay she's not confident about anything so uh, you should take your time if you think that you can recall take your time 10 to 15 seconds if still you can't recall you can just politely refuse that I'm sorry ma'am i can't recall and they completely understand it i feel like they judge more of your personality how do you react to things say when you don't know an answer how do you react to it so uh, are you graceful in accepting that or are you adamant ki nahi mujhe kaise nahi aa sakta or or are you or you get too scared ki mujhe ek question nahi aap to mera hoga hi nahi so all of these things they are more mm -hmm. focusing on your reaction than on your knowledge so you have to keep your calm you have to keep in any calm. situation yeah that's true. okay ma'am uh, ma'am can you please share with us some answer writing tips answer writing i think Keep, because there are, you only get three hours and you have to do quite twenty questions, so yeah. keep that in mind. And in 
actual examination hall there is a lot of pressure because uh, naturally you have to so you can't think ki hum bahut lamba lamba likh denge etc you have to be precise and you have to be to the point whichever points are more valid keep them first try to underline them mm-hmm. make your paper paper neat readable and uh, practice all of that before so i was i did one thing which i definitely suggest everybody to do was uh, so our the mains were starting in 20 on 20th september and but yeah. uh, exactly 25 to 30 days before vision is had taken out uh, this uh, scheme where vishwas something aisa karke ki aap unke institute pe aaiye aap uh, wa- पूरे पेपर्स दिए जैसे जीएस वन दीजिए सुबह फिर शाम को जीएस टू दीजिए जैसे ही एग्जाम होता है बिल्कुल वैसे पैटर्न में दे हैड प्लान आउट द टेस्ट सीरीज एंड व्हाट हैपेंड बिकॉज इट वाज माय फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट आई हैड नो एक्सपीरियंस हाउ डज इट फील टू बी इन द एग्जामिनेशन हॉल सो बिकॉज आई डिड इट ऑलरेडी आई न्यू की ओके नाइन टू ट्वेल्व इज योर टाइम फॉर जी एस देन यू जस्ट गेट टू आवर्स एंड देन यू हैव जी एस सो आई वॉज प्रिपेयर कि इतना सर दुखेगा लेकर जानी पड़ सकती है आपको बहुत प्रेशर रहेगा सो आई कुड प्री एम्प ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स बिकॉज ऑफ विजन एंड देन आई स्कोर डिसेंटली गुड इन प्रिलिम इन विजन सो आई गॉट दैट कॉन्फिडेंस ऑल्सो दैट ओके आई कैन डू इट आई सो इट फेल लाइक आई एम रिपीटिंग द सेम एक्सरसाइज वेन आई वॉज एक्चुअली राइटिंग मेन्स सो डू टेक test series and do take test series in an exactly uh, exam hall in uh, while at home also when i used to write every third day a test series uh, i because you can't go to a test center every day that's a complete waste yeah. of time so you have to give majority of the test you have to give at home but you have to keep your timer so 3 hours means 3 hours you can't be relaxed sometimes you feel are no no i know better i should write or i'll get more marks so ye sab you shouldn't do you should be honest with your preparation and uh, do something like this beforehand kyunki wo it, it gets coffee it gets too much when you have essay and gs1 2 to uh, gs1 and 2 and 3 and 4 all back to back so in yeah. uh, those three days get too much into into your head so you actually come to know ki aap kitna kam pad pate ho ghar par aake aap sooge so you can only stay for 2 through 3 hours and then you'll again sleep so yeah. that also tells you ki uh, कितना ही आप लिख पाओगे कितना ही आप रिटेन कर पाओगे सो डू समथिंग लाइक दिस समथिंग दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ एक्सरसाइज बिफोर हैंड ओके थैंक यू मैम द नेक्स्ट वन एज एन ऑफिसर व्हाट चेंजेस यू वुड लाइक टू ब्रिंग इन आवर सोसाइटी नाउ दैट्स अ वेरी लोफ्टी ड्रीम टू हैव बट आई डेफिनेटली थिंक दैट आई विल स्ट्राइव एवरी डे टू बिकम एन एक्सट्रीमली अप्रोचेबल a very down to earth uh, you can like whatsapp and do things to me and stuff like that very approachable mm-hmm. very easy go- to go officer i want to bring a time where so much of there is no need of any officer only everybody is self reliant everybody can do their own thing there is no hassle in the government government process should be easy government process government is there to aid people it should not become like your sarkari kaam hai hota rahega hota rahega it should not be it should be quick it should be efficient and i would strive to be one of that kind only thank you ma'am and we wish you all the best for that thank you so much it was lovely chatting so, with you thank you ma'am so uh, with this we are done with the questions uh, before we part ma'am i would like to tell some programs our organization is running can i yeah yeah sure so uh we have a current affairs program that is 365 for 365 in which we collect all the important news and facts from the most important newspapers the hindu the indian express and all the government websites and we compile them and provide at a very minimal uh, price of rupee 1 per day that is rupees 365 for an year 65% of which is donated to the needy students oh, so we cool. also have a we also have a telegram group uh, serving officers being part of it sharing their microscopic knowledge with us and that is totally free of cost we are also running some courses uh, on a youtube channel without any cost so yeah we believe in serving and uplifting people that's a very good motto i think i've ranted too much about miss guidance so please guide well people <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much ma'am so happy to connect with you all of you mom it's a pleasure 
all the best thank you ma'am uh, ma'am any parting message you would like to give our viewers just keep studying don't watch more of these topper interviews <laughs> just study <laughs> <laughs> that's going to help you more <laughs> Okay ma'am so i really want to say a massive thank you for giving us your valuable time sharing with us your lovely thoughts pitching ideas and lively experiences please accept our deepest gratitude ma'am most welcome most most thankful and uh, it's a, it was a pleasure interacting yeah it was our pleasure to give little bit of guidance but uh, yeah be the captain of your own ship everybody true definitely ma'am your answers are going to help more and more aspirants so uh, we are also grateful to our audience who kept their calm during the session and for joining with us uh, thank you ma'am wishing you all the very best for the journey that awaits you ahead thank you so much it was lovely interacting have a nice day you thank you ma'am goodbye goodbye